<laughs> I was looking and I'm like, I'm like, well, this is like a three foot drop off the rocks down into the water. It's a little better. And I'm I'm mobility impaired, so. Oh, it's, oh, that's a heron. Mike's least favorite uh, water bird. First bird of the day. Yeah. Like, why is there so many cars here? People out on like overnights? Yep, there's a bunch of uh, campsites out towards Wolf Island where we're headed. Oh. And, uh, you think all these cars had like canoes on the roof? Uh, not necessarily. There could be uh, rented cottages. Too, maybe maybe people get picked up by boats or something or oh. there's also these here the uh the uh house boats so right maybe i don't know maybe it's a combination of the three so what are we looking for today um you're, you're, I, i'm looking for some eagles again it's another uh potential eagle spot all here are waterfalls over that way yeah we're not going that way luckily yeah <laughs> we're not going <laughs> north we're not, we're not going down the waterfall yeah. oh good so, it's cold too. I mean, degrees. Yeah. but it's gonna get warm. Yes. No, there's barely any clouds really. Okay, once the sun comes up, it should warm up. Hey, hey, hey. 25, I think it's supposed to be today. So, this, a nice early morning paddle. This, uh, well, this is the whole draw of, of the kayak in the truck is that a 10 foot boat fits pretty easy. I mean, unloading is pretty, pretty straightforward. Actually, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can hand this off to you if you want to. Yeah, I'll watch it, there. Yeah. This is, it matches and everything. I think he did this on purpose. Oh, this is the draw. So I just use a cargo net and one tie-down strap and ready to come out. The heron decided to take off. See if Mac got anything. I would love to see this osprey go fishing. Can't really see, it's up on the tree. See what happens. It was a little too, and then that's how I kind of framed him. That's nice. Put some stuff around him, but like, fucking catch right? far it's a little uh it's a little wobbly i mean i'm a big guy with no balance so it's good i mean a normal person would feel great but weather's good uh, so we ended up getting all that stuff well, we got we got our heron we got the loon we got this osprey i still I, i've lost faith that i'm gonna get a fishing osprey this year i guess next year well, I'm not no, saying never, not but... Not. No, it's not over yet. It's yeah. I have, since I got out in the kayak, I have seen a couple of, um... I've seen a couple of ospreys hunting. I've seen them, like, hovering. 
but the trouble is every time I see one I'm in like a marsh or something and they're just like they cover so much ground that the odds that one is going to hover and take a fish close enough for me to even see it let alone shoot it I, is I don't mean I don't obviously it happens but I, I need to learn more about their behavior and all that to get fishing but a juvenile loon that was about 10 feet off the bow of the boat was pretty pretty fantastic so we are going to uh, try to figure out there's so many islands we're probably like a little lost but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Matt <laughs> Matt says he's good so got to make our way over to Wolf Island uh, where we hear there's a bald eagle nest so where's the osprey there's the osprey nest right behind me I'll post a picture it's right there so it's pretty good I always look like a cartoon character I need to get like at least not at least not a bright yellow uh, PFD <laughs> Tilly looks good though Look at that lens flare. Good screen grab. So what's happening now? Mike found some bog to pull up on. Uh, I lost one of my sandals. Yeah, in the bog. In the muck. Yeah. Right now I've got uh, club feet, so my feet don't really work. And uh, I don't walk so well as putting it nicely. So anyway, it's always a trick for me to get in and out of a boat. And we found this kind of swamp. And, I mean, it sufficed, but... Well, let's be honest. It's because, you know, the two sites that were close to the uh, to the dam we were going to cross are taken. So we just pushed down a little bit and found a spot to get out and rest our legs and our butts. Have, uh, have some folded pizza. I made a pizza in the oven last night. And then, uh, that's pretty good. Refueling, right? Yeah. Refueling. We'll um, we'll post some pictures. Matt got a nice picture, maybe of a fly catcher when we landed eating a dragonfly. There was, yeah, it was it was our greeter. So welcome to the swamp. Don't mind the bugs. No, it's really not even that buggy this time of year. But we're only half sure what poison ivy looks like. Yeah. That that might be some. I doubt it. <laughs> well, yeah, back there. Yeah, that maybe. one, yeah. Oh, the, the shadows, yeah. I don't think there was any up here where I walked, so. So later we'll see. You may know. Hmm? Later you should know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll know later for sure. Good day. I mean, it's always tough when you're shooting from anything uh, because, like, when, once the light goes, it's like, oh, well, that's nice. I mean, even if we saw an eagle right now, it's not going to be a good picture. Small window. It's going to be, like, yeah. cool. Yeah. Still want to see one, but, like, you know. Yeah. It just doesn't have that light. You gotta get something like in the shadows, maybe. Here's again, that flycatcher. Overhanging branch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it. all right, well, we'll see what happens. Cheers.